What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. And guys, I debated on whether or not I wanted to do this video here today, and I'll tell you why here in a second. But today, what we're going to do is unbox, unwrap some premium packaging of Blu-ray and 4K releases in my collection. So all of these that we're going to go through here today, and I think I've got like 12 or 13. There was actually a few more that I could do, but I figured maybe I could save them for a part two, maybe somewhere down the line. Um, but all of these that I got here, I've had for a certain length of time in the collection, and I haven't yet ripped the plastic off of them. And I don't know what the contents are. Some of these I've had for... God, seven years now, maybe longer than seven years. Now, I think the I think the longest ones that I've had um, are are seven years old. The longest one that I have is seven years old. Um, so there's a lot of cool stuff to get into here. And I I honestly, guys, I didn't want some of these. I didn't want to do because I've had them for so long. I'm like the value on these has to be pretty high at this point, I would think. I didn't look them up or anything, because to be honest, I don't want to know what the number is. And if you could be so kind, don't let me know in the comments section below. Uh, but these obviously would be worth more if they were still sealed than they would be if they were torn open. But at the end of the day, I don't do this whole collecting thing because of the value of the releases that I'm getting. I, I'm not planning on selling these releases. I like collecting for myself. And that's honestly how everybody should collect. Don't collect to plan on selling somewhere down the line. But I'd be lying if I if I said that it's not in the back of my mind, you know, that someday maybe if I need some money, I can sell some of these uh, special editions for a little bit of profit. Um, but, you know, for the sake of providing you guys with some entertaining content and videos, I thought I would do this here today. So these are all over the world, like some of these releases. I've got German releases, Australian releases, a lot of releases from the States for sure. There's one here, I'm saving it for last, that I'm actually really excited to dig into because it looks really cool. And I don't, I don't know what the hell is in this thing. Like it's a big, like weird box edition, uh, but we'll get to it here in a second. But Look, I got my I got my trusty cutter. Uh, let's go ahead and start. Well, I guess I should tell you all to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We talk about physical media on this channel, guys. Blu-rays, 4Ks, owning the movies that you love, all that stuff there behind me every single day. Or I try to do every. I keep saying every single day because that's a part of my tagline. I. I most every single day. I, I've missed a couple of days recently. I took a break, but most every single day we do physical media uh, based content around here. So yeah, do all that, do all that fun stuff, guys. We'd love to have you here over at Mid-Level Media. We have a good time. And look, guys, I'm three minutes in and I haven't shown off a single premium uh, packaged edition. And uh, look, let's start with uh, who's on the screen behind me back there. I've got Rambo uh, First Blood Part 2, which I haven't seen in a while. I'm thinking about watching that when I get done with this video because it looks awesome just watching the scenes in the background. I love Rambo. Um, but let's start with my Rambos. Let's start with my Rambos. I've got, so, and some of you guys may have seen me get these. And if you're watching, if you sent these to me, let me go ahead and show them off. I got these three, uh, the three Rambo films, the original three Rambo films. Uh, Rambo First Blood, Rambo uh, 2 First Blood Part 2, and then Rambo 3. I've got these nice German media books of all three still sealed. The artwork on these is insane. Like, I lost my crap when I unboxed these. Somebody sent these sent these to me, a subscriber, a very generous subscriber. And I'll never forget you, even though I did in this video. But comment down below if you're the one that sent these to me. I would definitely... Or if you're the one that sent me any of these, because some of these I did get in from subscribers... Let me know in the comment section below so I can thank you again. Um, but these are freaking awesome. And I was thinking to myself, I don't want to unbox these because I already have all the Rambo films. I'll never watch these because they're Blu-ray. And if I watch Rambo, it's probably going to be in 4K, even though I got the Blu-ray in back there. Um, but I I want to see what's, in, what's inside these. I want to unbox them. I know it's just a media book, but... Let, let's dig in. Rambo uh, First Blood right here. I, I love First Blood. I think it's, I've said this before, but I think uh, First Blood is pound for pound the best movie of the 80s. I, did, I just think it is. Is it my favorite movie of the 80s? Probably not. I'd probably put Back to the Future above it, Empire Strikes Back, The Shining. But I just think that when you take everything into account, just the performance of Sylvester Stallone, the story 
uh, the action. Like, this movie just has everything, and it's such a great film. Um, you know, for its time, I just think it's one of the best. So I think it's pound for pound the best movie of the 80s. I love it. But we took the plastic off, guys. We we shed the plastic. Look at the artwork on that. Just beautiful. Um, love that so much. And this is a German media book, so parts of it is in German. Uh, but nothing on the front is in German. And on the side, we have Rambo First Blood. And who put this out over in Germany? Uh, Studio Canal, it looks like, put these out. Do they do stuff in Germany? I guess they do. I'm thinking, yes, this this has to be a German release. If it, if it was in the UK, it wouldn't be written um, in a language that I can't understand. Uh, but anyway, this is, oh, that's 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 weird. Uh, 269 out of 666, guys. They made 666 of these. Is all of these like that? Yes, it is. That is strange. Uh, strange stuff right there. I don't like that. That makes me feel weird. Um, I would get it if these were Omen, you know, packaged media books, but not for Rambo. Come on. Oh my goodness. I'm opening it up and seeing what's inside. So freaking cool. Look right there, guys. We have the disc art. And over here, we got this, what looks like a, a magazine type cover to this booklet, which is super awesome. Um, and all this is written in German, so I will never be able to read this, but we'll flip over to the back right there. Look at the image of, of uh, Sylvester right there. Freaking cool. Look at that. Looks like a comic book or something. And uh, we got the DVD. This also comes with a DVD. And I imagine these are both. Um, I got a region free player back there. That's what Rambo 2 is on. Um, so like these will play on there. What, what I'm always confused though with the German stuff is do they have English options for the audio? I imagine that they probably would, right? But I've never actually watched a German media book release, even though I do have several of them in the collection. But just flipping through the booklet, guys, uh, I won't dwell on it too long. We've got other releases that got more stuff to get into, but, you know, a nice little booklet in here written in German. I can look at the pictures, but I can't actually read it, uh, but a really cool release right there, Rambo First Blood. Let's dive into Rambo 2. This one actually has uh, German on the cover, and that's great artwork right there, guys. I love the artwork. Rambo Part 2. Um, I like a lot. I like this one a lot. I don't think it's on the same level as First Blood, but it's also more of a pure action movie than the first Rambo is. The first Rambo is really a psychological um, drama, drama slash thriller. Not really a war movie, I would say, even though he brings the war to that town. Um, but it's not really a war film like the second Rambo is. It takes place in Vietnam, so it's like in the war zone. Um, so I do appreciate this one a lot. I think it's really fun for what it is. Um, also has some good dramatic moments as well, but it's definitely a little bit more lighthearted, a little bit more action, um, you know, a little bit more action elements infused into it. But look at that, guys. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Beautiful. And again, you got the magazine cover. Look at that. That is super cool. I love that. Um, so awesome, guys. I... Look, Rocky's my favorite franchise, and I love Stallone. But, like, the Rambo films are really awesome as well. Uh, really awesome. But, yeah, German media book. Back right there, we got the other disc, the DVD. Rambo Part 2. Let's get into Rambo 3. Just Rambo 3. It wasn't Rambo First Blood Part 3. Um, this one I really like. To be honest, um, I go back and forth. Which one do I like more, this one or the second one? It might be this one. I think this one's super cool. They go to Afghanistan in this one, correct? Um, I just know it's like a more desert setting, but like Stallone is so jacked in this one. It's not even funny. I think the action in this one is just a little bit better. And I love the team up uh, with him and the general in this one also. And I, I wish uh, Colonel Troutman, sorry, Colonel Troutman and him in this one, I think is super awesome that they got the team up for a film. Because uh, Colonel Troutman plays such an important character in the first one. It was just cool to see him in action uh, finally in Rainbow 3. And just some great set pieces. But yeah, Rainbow 3. Look at that artwork, guys. He's on a horse with a freaking machine gun. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Look at that. You got some Apocalypse Now vibes right there. Um, but let's open it up. And you got the disc, the Blu-ray disc. Still with the uh, magazine poster style on that cover right there. We'll flip through a little bit of the booklet. I can never like show this off right, I feel like. 
Um, and then on the back, that's how jacked he was, guys. That's the opening scene of the film where he's first introduced and he's tying the headband on. He's getting ready to fight that guy. Super awesome. But I, I love Rainbow 3. It's really cool. Um, and like I said, I go back and forth with this one and the second one. Be honest, though, like these three are my favorite of the franchise. I know there's some people that would say Rainbow 2008 is up there for them, and some people would say it's their favorite, but I like the original three from the 80s, and then I would probably go Rainbow 2008, then Last Blood after that, but they're all solid action films, all solid action films. All right, let's go ahead and get into this one. This is the this is a E. This is E. Uh, this is a Reservoir Dogs 4K release from Australia. This is from Via Vision, and I really shouldn't open this because I have Reservoir Dogs, a nice 4K steelbook, um, in the collection. So I have no reason to open this release. I should keep it sealed. Um, and somebody also sent this one to me. I did not purchase it, but look at that lenticular. Look at that freaking lenticular with them walking. That is so freaking awesome. So freaking awesome. Um, I love Reservoir Dogs. It's it's one of my, it's hard to say like it's one of my favorite Quentin Tarantino movies because like all of his movies are so freaking strong and I honestly like love them all. Um, but this one I would say is in the top percentage of my favorite Quentin Tarantino movies. I don't know. I'd have to think about it and do a ranking one day probably, but it's definitely up there, and it's it's one. I think it's the first one I ever saw, to be honest. Um, but super awesome. I love that. I could just do this all day, guys. Let the let the lentic let the lenticular lentic on camera. Look at that, guys. So freaking cool. But let's show you the back right here. You got a nice J card on there. Some of the characters on the back. I don't know if this has new special features or not. Uh, to celebrate the movie's 30th anniversary, the cocked and loaded world of Mr. White, Harvey Keitel, Mr. Peak, Steve Buscemi, Mr. Orange, Tim Roth, and their 90s cool cohorts uh, makes its swaggering return in razor sharp 4K. Um, but you got deleted scenes, playing it fast and loose, profiling the Reservoir Dogs. I imagine this is probably the same um, as the uh, Lionsgate release in the States. But on the back, guys, this is limited to 2,000. So I am just... I am just just wasting money here today uh, by unboxing these, by shredding these of the plastic because these would have been worth so much more if I had the plastic on them, especially how limited they are. Um, but I'm a wild man, guys. What do you want me to say? I do it for the entertainment for you guys, so I hope that people do watch this video. Um, all right, so really cool release, though. I love this, to be honest. Um, and thank you for whoever sent this to me if you're watching. And right here, it just says Blu-ray on the case. I, I think this is 4K. I thought I seen on the box. Yeah, it says 4K Ultra HD. It just doesn't say it um, on this case right here. And we'll open it up. Ooh, this is some nice disc art. Different disc art than the uh, 4K Steelbook that I have. I don't know if this is like, if this is the, I don't have the slipcover version in the US, so I don't know if it's the same disc art as the uh, slipcover version, but that's some really cool uh, disc art right there. I love that with the guy on the chair getting ready to get his ear cut off by uh, Michael uh, Madsen. Um, and then we also got the Blu-ray as well. You know, just the original poster of Reservoir Dogs. Um, but very cool. And I think that this has got, uh, got reversible. No, it's just got interior artwork in this. But still cool. Um, and I like how it doesn't have, you know, stacked discs or anything. It's got one in this tray and then you flip it over. All right, so what is in this? You got this nice Reservoir Dogs envelope. I'll flip it. And uh, just some art cards. Just some nice art cards. Some still shots from the film. I love this movie, though. This is a It's a great movie. The cast in it is absolutely incredible. I love everybody in this movie. Steve Buscemi, Harvey Keitel, Tim Roth, Michael Madsen. Everybody's great. Uh, Chris Penn's in this movie. Just an incredible cast. Absolutely incredible cast and an incredible addition uh, from Via Vision. And I honestly don't have a ton of Via Vision releases in the collection. I actually would have wanted to get that, um, was that a Halloween, the Rob Zombie Halloween collection? I saw some people get that. That one looked pretty cool. I'm just not a big enough fan of those movies to collect that release, but really awesome addition uh, from Via Vision in the UK. Not UK, Australia. Sorry, guys, I'm already messing up. I think everything, well, no, I got a couple more from overseas. Sorry, guys, I got ahead of myself. Um, so this one, guys, this kind of hurts me. Um, 
This is one of the first like premium special edition uh, in-store exclusives that I, I ever bought, and that is Wonder Woman uh, from 2017. And I bought this in 2017 at a Target, and this is when I was really getting into collecting these premium editions and starting to look up like physical media YouTubers and unboxing videos. I didn't know people were on the internet talking about movies and physical media releases in like 2014, 2015. And I started to stumble upon a bunch of movie channels and then that turned into, into physical media channels. And I found people like Cool Duder going to the stores and finding stuff like this. And I just thought these in-store exclusives were the coolest thing ever. So I just started buying them like crazy. Um, and since, you know, the Marvel movies, the DC movies, those were the ones, those are the franchises they did those releases for the most. So that's what I have most of um, in the collection. But I bought this Wonder Woman Blu-ray edition because there was a 4K steelbook. I bought that, and that's the one that I opened and the one that I watched. And I also bought this Blu-ray edition at Target because in the beginning, or not the beginning, but early on in the 4K format, they did 4K steelbooks at Best Buy. I think they also would do Blu-ray steelbooks at Best Buy too. But at Target, it took them a little bit longer to adopt the 4K special edition. So they were doing Blu-ray special editions while Best Buy was doing 4K Steelbook editions. Um, so I got this nice lenticular cover of Wonder Woman. And look, guys, I've, I've never opened this. I've had this in the, in the collection for seven years, and we are opening it right now uh, for you guys. Again, I hope you guys are watching and you enjoy this video because I'm doing this for you. And uh, we got a nice little sticker on here that's getting ready to go away. Bonus scene, uh, not seen in theaters. So I think that this one might have the bonus scene. I don't know if the Steelbook does. I don't know, guys. Let me know if you bought this or not. I actually do like Wonder Woman. I, I like the first Wonder Woman. I did not like Wonder Woman 1984. That was not good. Um, that was on HBO Max. I remember when we watched it, and it was. I'm glad I watched it at home for free instead of wasting my money to go to the theaters. Um, even though that was during COVID and we weren't, we weren't really going to the theaters then, but you got a nice J card on here and, uh, looks really cool. And there is some glue on the back that I'm going to be careful when I take this J card off and the glue stuck cool little, uh, cool how they have the DC kind of come down right there. I don't usually see J cards like this and uh, that little triangle shape. So that's pretty cool. Let me take this, uh, glue off and set it on the plastic. And uh, didn't doesn't look like it left a mark, but all right, let me show you the back of this. Really cool little edition. Target used to do cool uh, special editions. Now they just do slip covers with some artwork with some uh, with some art cards shoved up in there. That's what Target does now. They used to do cool editions like this with a lenticular booklet, and we open it up, and I got a digital code in here. Um, I don't know if this will still work, but if somebody wants to use it, you're more than welcome. It's seven years old. And look, we got some uh, some Barbie Wonder Woman toys in there. But let's open this up. And we have the Blu-ray disc right here. And um, I should be doing these at the table, guys. Nice little booklet filled with images from the movie. So very cool. And uh, yeah, this is a full-blown digibook, like I was showing off in the beginning. And that's the DVD. Um, of the movie. So really cool edition. Like I said, this is back when Target uh, cared and they would put out nice, cool special editions. Now they don't care. They even went through the era of putting out, trying to trick people into thinking they were still getting the cool Target editions. I've got a couple of them over there. And then you would open them up and, and then some art cards would fall out and when it, it would be all air. It was like they were trying to fluff their release actually making people believe there was a nice book inside and then there wasn't so they haven't done these nice editions probably since like 2019 or so and i've got more target editions to unbox here in a second guys but wonder woman from 2017 uh directed by um catherine i was gonna say catherine bigelow not catherine bigelow patty jenkins uh directed this film um was a good movie i enjoyed that one quite a bit all right, let's get into, look, we're going to unbox these two Avengers editions right here. These are both 4K. I think Avengers Infinity War was the first ever 4K Target exclusive. I could be wrong, but that's what I remember. Uh, this was the first ever 4K Target exclusive. And this, of course, came out a year later, was also 4K. Um, but look, I, I loved this movie. I, I saw it in the theaters, I think, three times. I was blown away by the ending. You know, this was the peak of Marvel, guys. Like, 
I loved it. I couldn't imagine at this point in time that I would be sick of the Marvel Universe. I was just all in on it. Like, I loved everything about it. it I just thought it was it was like the best we, we've seen superheroes on screen. They were just on a real roll. And now, guys, we just we just don't have them like this anymore. We just don't. It was it was it was gone as quick as it came to us. Uh, it felt like, but I have not opened this Avengers: Infinity War because I also bought the 4K Steelbook, so I watched that one. I don't know what the decision was, why I opened up the Steelbooks and kept these sealed. I guess because um, you know I, I had most of my Steelbooks already opened, so I didn't see the point of not opening that. And I figured there's more stuff in here, so I'll keep it sealed. But not anymore because I broke the seal. I've had this since it came out in 2018 uh, i've had this for uh six years almost and now i am finally opening it putting the plastic over here this is just crazy to me that i decided to do this but look at this beautiful edition i thought the artwork was really awesome and uh yeah you got a nice a lot of cool colors on it the steelbook for this movie honestly wasn't the best so that's probably why i just opened up that one um so yeah very cool. And on the back, you got the A. This, to me, is the best of the Avengers films, though. Hands down. I like the next one we'll talk about, but this one was just excellent to me. Uh, but on the inside, guys, you got this nice little digi package right here. Open it up. And we got the discs displayed on the inside. And uh, we also got a digital code, which I'll show because maybe it'll work if you want to try it. Avengers Infinity War. And then we got, uh, you know, that little image right there. But there's a book inside here, guys. There's a book and what is this? This is this actually feels like it's a hardback book a little bit. It almost feels like a golden book. You guys know what those are? Uh, so we'll flip through that. You got some images in there. Cool little booklets, a gallery book is what they're calling it. But yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, and I didn't know too much about this release because I didn't open up a lot of the Target exclusives, guys. So I haven't really unboxed any of these. And back then, guys, when I got this, um, when I was getting these editions, I didn't have a YouTube channel. So I did not have to unbo do unboxing videos and show people. It, like if we were doing this now, like I unbox most everything I get because I have a YouTube channel and I do unboxings for you guys. Um, but back then I didn't have this, um, this channel. So there was really no reason for me to unbox this except for myself, for myself. And I didn't need to see what was inside. I had the steel book. I was good. I just wanted to watch the movie and I collected these just for collectible collecting purposes. Um, and I cannot get this back in the slip cover. It's very difficult, but we'll try to make it happen. This video is already going way longer than I, I wanted it to. Avengers Infinity War, though, right there. Um, and we got Avengers Endgame. Look at this. Endgame was was a good movie uh, with a great finale. I don't think the finale... Um, I don't think the rest of the movie lived up to the last 40 minutes, which were incredible. Uh, so I can't say that this one was as good as Infinity War. But it's still a really good movie. And it was a really good conclusion to the Infinity Saga, for sure. Um, but show you the front, show you the back. Let's rip this J card off. Bam! Oh, look at that! You got Thanos standing on top of the, standing on top of the ruins, the rumble. Look at that! All right, take it out of this slip cover right here. We got a nice image of Tony Stark as Iron Man. We got a nice image of Chris Hemsworth as Thor. Nice little digi book, digi book. What did I say? Digi book book. Um, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, guys. We got multiple discs in here. You got more discs than Infinity War. You got a Blu-ray for bonus features. You got a, a Blu-ray of the movie. And then you got the movie on 4K. Um, at some point, I do want to go back and rewatch these. Because it's been a long time since I've seen them. And here's another digital code for you guys. Bam. And then we got another uh, gallery book. Only they're calling this one a look back at the MCU. You got Thanos on the back. And, oh, that's pretty cool. A look back at the MCU. So I wonder if it kind of starts from the beginning. Um, which looks like it does. 
you got, uh, I think I saw, uh, God, what is his name? Jeff Bridges. He's the villain in the first one. Uh, so pretty cool. I think it kind of takes you through everything. All the films. That's that's pretty damn cool. I might have to, you know, read that at some point. But let's put everything back in here. Cool addition. It looks like when you take the discs out, you got other stuff on the back. Looks like I'm not going to take all the discs out, guys. But we got Hawkeye, and it looks like you got Mark Ruffalo. And um, you got, you know, the three most important Avengers, obviously. That's why they put them there on the back right there. Oh, my goodness. When Captain America caught Thor's hammer, the theater erupted. Like, I, these just created movie theater-watching memories um, that I'll never forget. I'll never forget them. So, I'll always be fans of these films just for that. Like I told my son, cause I took him to see both these movies that you, these movies are going to be talked about decades to come, you know, like star Wars and stuff like that. At least I hope they will. I hope what the MCU has turned into doesn't ruin all that, but it might, who knows? All right. So guys, we got uh, five more releases that get to get into. I'm stumbling with my words all over the place. Let me take a drink of water. Water break. I had somebody leave a time code on my last video. Uh, Ken takes a water break. He put that as a time code. All right, let's drink a little bit. And uh, make sure you time code that again. All right, so we have got a nice chunky box uh, of Citizen Kane right here. This is a Blu-ray edition. Uh, the 40th, or no, 70th anniversary. So this one came out. In 2011, I have not had it since 2011. Somebody sent this to me in a subscriber unboxing. Uh, but we're going to get into it. Ooh, I like the way that feels. Right away, I like the way that feels. It feels very nice. It's, it's almost like, it looks like a puzzle. It's shaped like a puzzle right there. You guys see that? That's kind of um, odd. I don't remember a puzzle theme in Citizen Kane. But that's kind of odd, but kind of cool as well. Uh, very cool release. This is the Ultimate Collector's Edition. This is a really nice hard box right here. Really nice. I imagine the studio put this out. Warner Brothers put this one out. Um, and I don't know if this is a UK release or not. Um, but we do have a nice hard uh, back book in here as well. Which is very cool. Rosebud. I've only seen Citizen Kane once. I never got the Criterion Edition. I've still got it on Blu-ray, but I need to re-watch this movie. But I do need to get the 4K from Criterion at some point. And then right here we got uh, this little thing that's holding uh, a bunch of art cards, it looks like. And possibly a poster. Or is that just another book? An RKO radio picture, Citizen Kane. So this is just another book booklet, it looks like. Now it's Orson Welles of Hollywood. So yeah, another little booklet in here. And uh, we got some posters. The original poster of Citizen Kane. We got another poster. This looks like an overseas poster. It's terrific, Citizen Kane. Okay. These must be like promotional posters they put out at the time. Very cool though. I like this. I don't know what this is. This is like, uh, looks like something you get at a funeral home. Uh, sorry guys, I don't have, I didn't really deep dive into what this is, but like there's a lot of stuff in here. This kind of reminds me of the Titanic release. Just kind of, they put it, they put out all these little like vintage pieces of paper with all kinds of pre-budget estimate. There's a budget. I think that's the budget for the movie that they worked out on this piece of paper. That's kind of weird. Um, box office blue ribbon award. Was that the box office? So yeah, I'm showing all this stuff off. I don't know how much you guys are taking in of all this, but this is a lot of stuff in this set right here. Yeah, that kind of reminds me a lot of the titanic special edition that came out all right so we have this nice little fold out situation going on right here 
Look at that. We got three discs. Yeah, this is a really cool edition. DVD, DVD, and uh, now hold on now. DVD. Are all these DVDs? I'm fairly certain that um, this was a Blu-ray edition. Could I be wrong? Could Is this a DVD edition? Um, no, see on the... Uh, I want to know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. On this right here, look at the red discs. Look at the red disc. You can see the Blu-ray symbol. But on this, it just says DVD. So I wonder if there was a Blu-ray edition and I got the DVD version. Either way, it's a cool edition. And if I watch it again, it's going to be the criteria. So I don't care too much. But I just thought that this was a Blu-ray edition. And you also got some cool stuff on the back as well. So this would have been a premium DVD edition that came out in 2011. Um, I guess they were still doing, you know, DVD editions at that point in time. It just seems a little odd that they wouldn't include Blu-ray in 2011 for the 70, 70th anniversary. All right. But yeah, everything else on here says DVD. So that's strange. I thought this was Blu-ray. All right, let me set this over here and... Let's get into Dragon Hearts. I am the last one. This awesome media book right here. German media book. I just watched this the other night um, on 4K uh, with the Shout Factory Steelbook. I'll be talking about that in an upcoming episode of Physical Media Lives. But I, uh, I still like the movie a lot. I don't think it ages the best, probably. Not from memory, but it's still a really good movie. All right, let's... Look at that. Look at that. Look at that artwork, though. I freaking love that artwork. It's probably all in German on the back. Look at that. Isn't that cool? You got the dragon hearts. Open this up. I got another little... Oh, they got a, they got a daylight German media book. I have to find that. In a twister one. Holy crap. Um... But there you go. You got the Blu-ray. This has Dolby Atmos. I think the Shout Factory one is what does as well. That's a cool. Uh, I like how they have the scales on the inside on the booklet and the interior artwork. Uh, but a nice little feels like a pretty thick booklet in here in this digi book. So that's pretty cool. And then you got the DVD on the back side. But uh, very cool release from the from the Germans over there. Dragon Heart Media Book. And next up, guys, I got this in a subscriber unboxing. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I didn't know if I was going to pick this up because I watched it on Blu-ray and I liked it. I just didn't know if I needed a second sight 4K, but somebody sent this to me, thankfully. And I will never turn down a nice uh, second sight edition no matter what. But uh, Crimes of the Future, 4K edition from Second Sight. I got this in, never unboxed it. Um, like I said, I love Second Sight. I think this has uh, new special features as well, so it's worth getting and digging into. And I did like this movie. I did like this movie. I didn't love it, but I do think it's one of Cronenberg's best or one of his uh, better films he's done in quite some time. Um, but really cool edition, and Second Sight just always does great work. Body is reality. Yeah, this is a pretty gnarly movie. Um, but on the inside, you got this little pack right here that has the 4K and the Blu-ray. Very cool. And we got some art cards. I'm not going to take these out, but they got stuff on them, images from the film. And this is a nice booklet right here, guys. Nice booklet. Of Vigo Mortensen and Leia Sodox. Is that how you pronounce her name? Uh, who they were both excellent in this movie. This is a weird movie, though. It's about um, people evolving to be able to um, eat and digest plastic and the damages that that can cause a, a person's body. Uh, so, this movie kind of explores that. It's a very weird premise. While at the same time, there's like a they do surgery for entertainment. There's that going on as well. It's a strange movie, but it's right up David Cronenberg's alley. It does feel like old school Cronenberg too. It feels like Videodrome era Cronenberg. So I did enjoy this one, Crimes of the Future. 
glad to have it in the collection. I'm trying to speed things up a little bit, guys. We got two more. Uh, High Tension. This is a German media book as well. Um, I just got the second sight edition of High Tension, and I love that movie. It's a great movie. I thought the 4K looked really good. And um, now I'm going to unbox this media book that I have in the collection because somebody sent it to me. All right. Very cool release. I do love the artwork on this one. I think it looks really cool for sure. And then we'll open it up. And, ooh, you got some really nice discard right there on the Blu-ray. And I like the red on the on the booklet inside. I'll zoom in on that image right there. Really good stuff, guys. Really good stuff. And then we got two discs on the back. This is a Blu-ray. Imagine with the special features. Play on put this one out in Germany. Um, and this one has the bonus materials on that Blu-ray disc right there. So very cool release by Play on High Tension Media Book. If you can read German, you can read all that. Tell me what special features are in this. Is it different than the second site? Let me know in the comment section. All right, so it looks like it had a, a sorry guys, it looks like it had a documentary, Beyond Blood. I'll have to look that up. Was that in the uh, second site release? I feel like it was. All right, so last but not least, um, I actually won this from an Instagram contest, and I don't usually win anything. And I won this back in like 2018, I think. And uh, some company sent this to me, and I don't know if I have anything else from this company in the collection, but this is from Plain Archive um, Exclusive, or it's a Plain Archive Exclusive. I think the company is Plain Archive. And they sent me this special premium box set edition of Patterson um, on Blu-ray starring Adam Driver. And I watched this movie back in 2016 when it came out. And I remember I was drinking while I was watching it. And it was just the most like relaxing movie and experience that I've ever had. And I came away from the movie loving it. It's, it's such a... I don't want to say a nothing movie, but the movie just kind of washes over you. And when you get done watching it, it's like a breath of fresh air because there's no real problems that happen in the movie. It's just about a guy that drives a bus and he's also a poet and he's like with the, the girl of his dreams and she loves him and there's no real problems in their relationship. And it's just a movie that doesn't really have anything like significant happen. It's just people living their lives. And I don't know, it was just one of the most pleasant experiences I've ever had watching a movie. It's uh, directed by Jim Jarmusch. So I entered the contest to win this and I won it. So they sent this to me. But here we are six years later. I never unboxed this. I thought about unboxing this on the channel several times, but I'm doing it in this video here today. Uh, so let's take it out of the plastic. Guys, this thing could be worth like $1,000 from for all I know. Um, it was limited uh, to how many? I thought it had what it was limited to on the back, but I guess not. Is that on here somewhere? Um, but I think it's from Korea because it says subtitles in Korean or English down there at the bottom. Um, and it's not saying it's limited. It doesn't look like there's no number on the back or anything. But there's dust on the top of this thing. It's been on top of my shelf back there for forever. And I took it down because I was reorganizing everything. And I'm like, you know what? Let me unbox this thing because I'm actually curious what's inside. I always meant to unbox it. Oh, my goodness. Um, nice, though. This is unlike anything else I have in the collection. And you got AHA on the back. I can't remember this movie enough to remember what the AHA, what significance that is. Plain Archive. Let me know if you all have anything from Plain Archive. You got a quote on the side right there. And you also have the cast on the side as well. I don't remember his girlfriend being in anything else, but she was very uh, charming in the film. I will say that. And on the inside, I think they got some kind of like curtains that are that had this design on them in the movie. Um, but this is really cool, guys. Really cool. You got this little ribbon that releases everything. And I think there's a steel book in here, which is awesome. Look at all this stuff, guys. What is all this? Um, so we got a nice book right here. Look at that. 
some images from the film. And uh, it looks like mostly images. There's a little bit of writing here. But the writing, I think, I think this is from Korea. Because the writing is in Korean. Um, but still very cool. Yeah, I see it on the back. They got like curtains right there with that design on it. Um, we also have the collected earlier poems. So I think they have some of the poems from Adam Driver's character in here. Oh, and I remember that. He meets like a little girl that he shares his poems with. Got some images from the movie. Yeah, he's just a bus driver and he just, he's like, you would think just the setup to this movie would be about a guy that's like, you know, not content with his life and he wants, he's a dreamer. He wants to be a poet. He wants to be a star or whatever. He wants to be famous, um, live his dream, doing what he loves, making money off of it. That's not really the, the direction it goes in. He's like perfectly content driving this bus and he just happens to be a poet and he's like just perfectly content and happy with like every aspect of his life. If anything, the movie just teaches you to appreciate your life, no matter where you're at. Um, appreciate the little things. Uh, so that's what I loved about this movie. Appreciate the little things. Um, and then we got uh, this nice little, it looks like it's a, it looks like maybe I can be a poet. Looks like it has some stuff in here. I don't know what the hell this is. It's like a daily log or something. Um, yeah, it says time of the day, wake up, go to work, lunch, go home, dinner, night walk, sleep. Just a very simple life that he leads. Um, which to be honest, it's, you know, probably a good thing to lead the simple life. All right, let's, uh, this steel book is gorgeous. Look at that. That's him walking by. I just remember there was all kinds of moments in this movie that I was like, oh, something horrible is getting ready to happen. And then it doesn't. It just, <laughs> everything just kind of moves along. Uh, that's a beautiful steel book. Him outside that nightclub with the Patterson right there. That is that is really cool. But yeah, there's a steel book inside. I, I did not, uh, if, I re if I remember back, then I probably remember that it did say steel book premium edition. But I don't remember that. Um, but this steel book is super freaking nice. It's got a J card on the on it. With some stuff on the back. All right, so this actually says the number on it. This is one. Does that say one thousand and twenty three out of a thousand? That math does not add up. <laughs> that math does not add up. But you got the the dog on the inside of that. Now let me show you the back of the steel book. Very nice steel book. Open this up, and uh, yeah. Some really cool stuff. You got a couple of cool discs on the inside. You got a Blu-ray disc, and I imagine that. Um, oh, this is actually the score. This is a CD on the inside. So very awesome. Um, original score by S Squirrel. Is that the composer? Um, guys, this is one of the nicest things that I've got in my collection, and I have waited this long to open it up. Um, and you also got a pencil and a little pen it looks like in here as well and i imagine that pencil is for the little notepad that they left you but that that is really cool um i am glad that i finally got a chance to unbox this here today look i'm not going to bore you guys by putting everything back in uh that's it guys that's the video i ran over 40 minutes i did not mean to go this long i thought this was going to be like 25 to 30 minutes max uh, but I hope you enjoy this, just this kind of random unboxing video of just stuff that I've had in the collection. And it's been waiting for unboxings for way too long. So I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications for all future videos and follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description and we'll see you next time.